um, all the way around, but she has to keep looking around with that. So she will definitely turn her head to see very far in the back. But the only reason she can do that is because she simply has more neck. I'll, if I gave any one of you seven extra neck bones, you could probably do the same thing. The reason why it looks so amazing, though, is because all of what you see here is this fluffy feathers. A lot of this is nothing but fluff, and her neck is actually way, way in there, several inches deep. It's really fluffy. Yes. What kind of owl is she? She is called a Eurasian eagle owl. So the Eurasian part means she's from Eurasia. I don't know if you've heard that term before, but every now and again people so, so talk about Europe and Asia, and Asia as one big land mass, and they call it Eurasia. Same thing with Europe and Asia. And the eagle owl part means big owl. She's not like, if her mother wasn't an owl and her father was a beagle, that's, that's not how that works. Eagle owl means really big owl. So there's a few different species of owl that have earned the title of eagle owl. South or Central America, you would see great horned owls. If you're hiking in Europe and Asia, you can see Eurasian eagle owls. Hey there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask folks. Okay, Don't forget to look at the back of your map. Happy New Year, of course, everybody. Thanks for coming to the park today. Uh, the back of your map will show you our schedule, so make sure you can sell the